So yeah, that little hit there could have killed one of the characters without armor. The turtle didn't want to have any of it. Nah, I messed up in despawning that turtle. Yeah, I literally will way. Second to last Norm boss. As a fun fact about this boss is, he will only ever cast Acid Rain, unless you cast different magic on him yourself. Also, Stinger will use here Wall to reflect the spell back on the slime. Uh, Acid Rain actually lowers the defense, so actually Stinger also does more damage with every single attack. Yeah, I don't think it actually matters much though. It could. I haven't calculated it. Yeah, I haven't done the calculations yet either, but... I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean a thing, unfortunately. In any case, in armorless, every single acid rain would kill you, and by using wall here to reflect the spells, you don't have to use any as much resources to revive, and not as much mining, which is why on average it's worth it to cast wall anyways. And that was the last of the normal bosses. little skip there. If I go into one of the menus that has the high-res background, it skips the rest of the level ups after the end of the fight. Yeah, normally he would get about seven or eight level ups there. Yeah, used to waste a lot of time until Yagamoth found that one. That was a very half-hearted attempt to despawn things. I only thought about actually trying it after I was probably already too far. Looks like it. Plus, it stuff also sp spawns depending on how long you wait until you move them into screen. Luckily, you don't go armorless here. Alright, I may see that a little, with a little bit of trouble, but not yeah. too bad. Maneuvering the AI past enemies in such spots is really weird, because the AI loves to wait and try to dodge enemies and get generally simply react to them, but not simply follow the main character around corners. So generally, if you can dispawn enemies, that's the best thing you can do. Oh yeah, by the way, fun fact, someone said lightsaber level 7 in chat. Um, elemental enchants in this game actually don't do anything besides their special effect and giving you a bit of an attack bonus. Yeah, but with a 10% damage bonus. Yes, indeed. Normally you would do double damage with an element against a boss that is weak to that element, like light against the Dark Lich soon coming up. But because of a prep programming error, that doesn't happen right here. And so yeah. you simply get a small damage boost on really any of the weapons. Aside you can from use effect. Game Genie codes to enable that, but by default they messed up that part of the programming. That also happens with those little descriptions of weapons, whether they're strong against uh, fish and plant type or whatever. Those also are incorrect because of the same glitch. What's music hype? So 
So let's see. In this fight, something interesting can happen. Not if getting the opportunity yet. Oh. If Thanatos goes underground and sticks up his head, you can manipulate him into an uh, endless cycle of moving. So technically that would be the fastest way to defeat him, but... It's really quite simply random whether it happens or not. Also, you want to switch to the sword, by the way. Oh yes, thank you. I thought about that and then I forgot it. I didn't get it. Uh. That's unfortunate. And I don't really care about the sprite. Because I've got a ton of... Top of wishes. So the ma manipulation for that is really precise. I'm getting really bad RNG with hitting Dark Glitch right now. There we go. Wow, that's terrible timing. Using Dispel Magic there gets rid of the boy's overcharge attack. So I have to set it up again. Also, apparently I still have wall up. Okay, one damage after a long animation. I think you might be standing too close. Horizontally. Oh, never mind. Ah! Too far to the right. I couldn't get the headbang today. Four cups of wishes left. Yeah, it's not a problem with my totals. That's why I was going for it more. Oh yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but if you watch the HDQ run, we got the headbang to work there. Okay, finally got that. Okay, that was a uh, rather bad RNG for that boss. Man, yeah, I guess was. that's what can happen in this game. Uh huh. Yeah, at the end of the day, we still know we're running an RNG game. It's not worse than Pokemon, though, luckily. Oh no, not even close. What I'm doing here is setting up to skip the cutscene that activates when you cast the mana magic on the boy. And the reason I want the mana sword in the upcoming fight is because it has a 100% hit rate on the mana beast. 
It's the only weapon in the game that actually has a 100% hit chance. And so even though the Mono Beast has an evade rating like all, every single other boss after the Great Viper, because of the Mono Swords stats, I won't miss at all. So yeah, normally you cannot even swap the Mono Sword to the girl or the sprite, but by overriding the Mana Sword spell, so to speak, with another weapon spell, you can actually make the Mana Sword last infinite duration, plus also swap it out. This is pretty neat. So yeah, um, also, again, in an armorless run, you would, Stinger would have to negate every single one of the mana beast attacks with, um, with spells, otherwise he would not survive it at all. But with armor, it's pretty relaxed. He would have to mess up quite a bit to die here. Also, I think I missed the one cycle. I came yeah. really close. What he is currently trying with the spell once unlocking is to get a one cycle before the mana beast actually uh, comes up fully. You have a chance to cast some spells on it. He casted acid rain to reduce the armor and lock the mana beast in place at the same time, which gives a slight chance of getting a one cycle which would save a lot of minutes. Going for the one cycle costs <sighs> about 20 seconds if you don't get it. And I it still have like not gotten in a run. Uh, whoops, I accidentally let the girl and sprite die. Whoops. No big deal though. Unfortunately, this time he came from the top, which is slower. So I was three hits away from getting the one cycle. Okay, and time is coming up as soon as it weighs out. Yep. Time. That's uh, decent for a marathon. That's actually, I think, the uh, record for a marathon. It's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had some uh, very trolly sections, but overall that was pretty solid. Sunday morning for me. No problem. Thank you for having me. I had a blast with the run.
Absolutely. So it was a blast. Oh yeah, we got Ohan hype. So yeah. Thanks for having us, and I wish you a good rest of the marathon. Yep, I'm gonna head out as well. Thank you again for having me.